I'm just down here at BCF, just grabbing a couple of hooks because I'm planning on making my own snapper eggs. But first, just needed some hooks. And what better than the Reedy's Rigs? What have we got here? Reedy's Rigs 3 and 5. Apparently they're doing the damage at the moment. So welcome to the first ever episode of Tech Tuesday. Two minutes! So you've just gone out and you've caught your bait for snapper season, which is just around the corner. Now I've just nicked out to BCF. I've got myself some Lumo. Oh, I like to call these a spacer. And I've got my sliding clip swivels here. Sure catch, they call these ones. I've got myself a couple of Reedy's Rigs hooks here. I've got some uh, threes and five O's. I'm about to, oh, sorry, do apologize. And I've got myself some 60 pound mono leader. So obviously you've watched our previous episode on catching bait, be prepared. So this is the second episode in the series, if I'm making a series, which is a sliding sinker rig, hook on the bottom, sliding through sinker, very easy to do. So let's start the timer. First, I'm just gonna cut that end off here. So what I'm gonna do, grab about a meter of line, I'm gonna cut that off. I'm gonna turn that, put that over there. So on the end, I'm gonna just do a normal hook on the bottom. Now I've actually got no idea what the name of this knot is, but I'm just gonna do three twists on the bottom, just like that. And I'm gonna slide that through Luke, if you actually know what knot this is, make sure you leave a comment below and just teach me something. And uh, so I'm gonna pull that through there and then I'm gonna thread that back through the loop at the top. Just like that. How are we going with that timer anyway? And a little bit of loop. I'm gonna pull that nice and tight. Just gonna cut that excess off just like that. And that's your bottom hook, the bottom hook. Then, we're literally gonna slide that through. We're gonna slide that through there like that. We're gonna come down, we're gonna slide that down, right to the bottom there. And this is your double, double hook snelled rig for Western Port. So you can do like a couple of hooks through a squid ring, or maybe a pilly. And then all we're gonna do, just grab that and then we're just going to wind it on like that. Just like that. And then grab the tip of that. I'm going to feed that back through the hook. Just like that. And pull it tight. And that is it without getting my fingers. That is it. That is your hook set up already. <laughs> to literally just run down there to BCF and grab some uh, a clip swivel. We've got a clip swivel and uh, a sinker. And I've got a rod head here because I forgot all mine are at the caps place. So anyway, so where were we? Uh, so you've done your hooks, done your hooks. So I'm just gonna do what's called a dropper loop. So I'm gonna fold that in half. I'm gonna fold that in half again. I'm gonna stick my finger through there like that. I'm just gonna give it a couple of twists. All right. So we're gonna grab the loop end and then we're gonna pull that through that twisted loop that you've made. Since my fingers go through there. There we are. Just like that. Pull that nice and tight. I'm gonna chop that bit off. Chop that bit off. Hopefully you can see that fine. Okay, so rod end. This is the rod. Rod tip, rod end. First thing we're gonna do is we're going to slide our clip swivel through there. Or sliding sinker swivel. We'll go through, let's try the other end. Okay, go through there like that. So 
So there we are. So that goes on there like that. And we're just going to th throw the little bead on there as well. So that goes through there like that. And then I'm going to do what I did with the hook. And I'm just going to do one of those twisty loops. Twisty loops, which um, I'm sure in the comments you've left and told me which, which knot that is. I mean, I could go look it up, I suppose. So we're going to give that a few twists. Excuse me, a few twists. And put that through the bottom loop. Just pull it tight a little bit and then put it through the top loop, like that. Pull that and pull that nice and tight. I'm going to cut that bit off. And um, that's your rod end. If you can see that on there. So that is your rod, that is your rod end. And literally, the sinker clips onto the, gee, they haven't made it easy for me today, have they? I'm trying to beat the timer here, but it doesn't look like I'm going to. And we just put your sinker in on like that. Clip that back in there, your sinker's on. So when you cast out into the water, your sinker will run freely like that, up and down, up and down your leader. And that will then allow your bait, which will be hooked onto here, to sort of swim freely. You can't say it, I'm all tongue-tied, to swim freely in the current, because the Western Port current is quite severe. And then that will anchor on the bottom, like that, and then the bait will just go through that with the, with the current. And uh, easily just put your baited end, which you've just hooked up, the loop there like that. You can put another swivel on the end of that if you like. And that just pretty much goes inside that clip. Clip it on. Put your baits on and you're away. Two minute tech Tuesday, that's it. I'm gonna try to do these on a regular basis. If I can come up with some uh, tutorials, obviously doing at home, while the weather's a bit sort of nasty out there, it is the start of snapper season. There is a few pre-season snapper being caught in Western Port at the moment, so make sure you've got your baits, make sure you're all prepared, and you know exactly which rigs you're gonna use. So at the moment, um, they're using between three to five, 5 hooks, uh, either the Reedies or you can use the, uh, the Mustad Penetrators as well. So if you would normally use a 3 in a Reedy, then you would go to a 4 on the Mustad, only because these are a little bit thinner, sharper, these ones are nasty. And they have a tendency to break off if you're using like the thinner one, if you're using something a bit, uh, a bit smaller on a big snapper. So I hope you find this video uh, useful. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you like the content and I'll see you out there in the big blue.